In this video, we'll find out if air dry clay can be thrown on the pottery wheel. I'll be testing out three brands of air dry clays to see how they throw. Hi everyone, I've been asked many times, can air dry clay be thrown on the pottery wheel? So you don't have to, I went ahead and bought three different brands of air dry clays to test out. I'll be making three plant holders with one pound of each clay. Any important information I mention in this video, along with any links for supplies and tools used in the video, will be listed for you in the show notes below. I have Amico Stonex Self-Hardening White Clay, Activa Plus Air Dry White Clay, and DOS Air Hardening White Modeling Clay. I called each company to find out what their air dry modeling clays are made of and none of them would give me specific ingredients. Just the basics because they don't want anyone else to copy them and I don't blame them. None of these clays are waterproof but you can use a sealant on all of them. <laughs> I'm going to start with the Amico Stonex self-hardening white clay. This clay is made in the USA. Weigh out a pound. It says to wedge the clay for even moisture and to increase the plasticity or workability of the clay. Let's throw it on the wheel. Center's pretty easy. Now we'll see how it throws. The Stonex is a non toxic water based air dry modeling clay. It's made mainly from natural clay, and preservatives are added to harden the clay, making it stronger than the bone dry ceramic clay. Feels pretty good so far. Actually, surprise. Let's see how it throws. Hmm. Surprisingly well. It does remind me a bit like porcelain. I'm finding it stays up well. Good plasticity or workability. <laughs> I do have to use a bit more water. But I use a good amount of water in general anyway. Using more water does weaken the clay faster, though. Finish it off with the ultimate edger. And 
I have a nice little plant holder. Let's try the next air dry clay. Next we'll try the Activa Plus air dry white clay. This clay is made in Spain. I'll wedge a pound of this clay also. If you're struggling with wedging or you want to learn a few different ways to wedge, you can check out my wedging video. I left a link for you below. Let's go to the wheel. So far, so good. Center's pretty good. It's not as smooth as the Stonex. I'm actually surprised. I can feel the particles in the clay. Very fine though. This is a water-based ultra-fine grade modeling clay. It's made from 100% natural clay. With natural celluloid fibers and minerals added to harden the clay and make it stronger than bone dry ceramic clay. So far the clay responds pretty well when opening it. Let's see how it throws. If you like what you see, click the like button, subscribe, and bell icon to get notified anytime a new video comes out. Using the sponge really brings the walls up faster. <laughs> it's moving pretty good. I do need more water and bring it out. It's not as easy to manipulate. It's kind of collapsing on me a little bit. It's still made a small plant holder, but not quite the shape that I wanted. And it's, it's looking oval. Let's try the next air dry clay. Now we'll try Das air dry clay. This clay is made in Italy. We'll wedge out a pound of this clay also. Wedging the air dry clay out does make it more plastic or workable. Let's take this one to the wheel. If you're having any trouble centering, I have a video on how to center clay that will help. I left a link for you below in the show notes. It's 
center's pretty good. Let's see how it throws. It's also a water-based air-dry modeling clay made with natural clay, fibers, and binders to make it stronger than the ceramic bone-dry clay. It's not as smooth as the Stonex either. It feels a little rubbery. Let's see how it throws. Outward, no, and she collapsed on me. This one didn't fare very well on the wheel. It didn't want to make a pot. And it started cracking. I don't think this is a good clay to throw on the wheel. To be fair, we could try another one. There it is. You just watched me. And while some clays fare better than others on the pottery wheel, the answer is yes, you can use air dry clay on the pottery wheel. Some are made more for hand building, while others do great at throwing on the wheel. Although it's not food safe, you can still make a lot of different decorative pieces. No kiln needed. And the winner is Amico Stonex Air Dry Clay. And it formed the shape that I wanted it to. I'm very impressed by the way it performed on the wheel. You can definitely use this clay on the wheel. The Activa Plus did make a small pot for me, and it didn't crack. It didn't allow me to manipulate it as well as the Amico Stonex but it was still okay on the wheel. And I was still able to make a small plant holder. The DOS air dry clay didn't fare very well on the wheel, but to be fair, I did try it twice. You could try a smaller amount of clay. That may work. I would suggest using it for hand building. It does do very well on hand building as of all of these do well for hand building. But if you'd like to throw air dry clay on the wheel, Amico Stonex is the best. If this video helped you, click that like button, subscribe, and bell icon to get notified anytime a new video comes out. 
If you have any ideas for future projects, let me know in the comments section below. I'd love to hear them. Until next time, let's stay dirty.